Hey everyone, Parker Team Shockwave here. Today, doing a quick video of this box opening of the new set, The Dark Side of Dimension. A set that's based off the new movie that we haven't seen yet, but uh, are looking forward to so some of the cards that we really released today, such as uh, the gadgets, uh, blue eyes, and dark vision support. Even the dark vision girl has her own little uh, click. Looking at this box, it's very lackluster. It's nothing really stands out. It's basically all black, and I feel like the quality is very less compared to the other of the uh, box openings we've done before. So um, let's start to just rip this up. Uh, gotta go and get my... Oh. All right, got that out of the way. Standard 24 packs, but this time we have five cards in each pack. The set itself is not uh, very large, so uh, let's open up each of these packs. And starting off, we have the was it uh, the chocolate magician girl? Um, it looks like all these cards are very ultra rare as well. So we have that me closing in for you guys, so you can actually see it better. So we have the chocolate Kaiser voice raider, uh, the dragon, what was it, frightening spirit, uh, what the hell is this is, and a new Kribo card, pretty interesting. Uh, so, uh, looking pretty good so far, chaos form, I heard this is the ritual spell card that works for the new rituals, dark magician, and the um, blue eyes, a new magician girl card, Barry. The alternative white, uh, blue eyes white dragon. This is an actual card that a lot of people are a little sought after because it's gonna bring uh, blue eyes deck to a more top tier format. Uh, let's see in the alternate art of the Slapper of the Sky Dragon and the Cubic Rebirth um, card. Something related to the villain of the movie, which again we haven't seen yet, but um, here in TCG. But uh, some of you guys might have seen the OCG uh, version. An alternate art of the Dark Magician. Cubic Wave, uh, let's see, another Cubic card right here, uh, on turn, Blue Eyes Art, and look, another Cubic card, so, um, pretty interesting so far, let's see, Gadget Support, Chocolate as well, uh, more Cubic, um, I'm not familiar with this trap card here, what is this, uh, Induced Explosion, um, look like it's more related to the, um, spell effects when, when activated and look we have here the silver gadgets uh, i'm hoping to get a set of the silver and gold gadgets because i know my brother loves this uh arch type he loved it ever since they uh first form and like uh was dominating the format uh so counter gate gold gadget very nice dimension sphinx and we have the Deep Eyes White Dragon. This is pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, it looks like it has level eight. I'm sorry, let me count the um, levels for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So it's a level 10. Uh, pretty interesting with zero attack, zero defense. And we had the Crystal Avatar. It's interesting that uh, in this set they were making everything ultra rare uh, compared to all the other like subsets that has um, a super rare to it and there's just one uh, I think that stands out like a secret or ultra. Sentry Soldier of Stones, if you're playing the uh, magnetic uh, electric, well, the electric magnetic warrior, this is a perfect card to play with. Uh, this is the... Um, the, uh, I forgot his name, but uh, in the uh, season, last season of the Yu-Gi-Oh! original series, uh, I believe they just based the card based of him. He's the one that actually bring out the uh, Dark Magician. And we have Lemon Magician Girl. I'm curious uh, how much the uh, potential these uh, Magician Girls can bring, uh, even for like a form uh, fun deck. Uh, we have the Lower Gaia, the Fierce Knight. The Celtic Guardian of No Arms. Some people said that um, it can actually work with the, like the No Arms card support cards. Well, we'll see about that when Dominguez actually look into it more. Uh, let's see, Final uh, Gaze. Uh, let's see, Assault Wyvern, and we have the Apple, Apple Magician Girl. 
I'm curious to see the uh, movie and see how the uh, Magician Girl uh, take place in it. Magician, uh, what's it, Defense? We had the new ritual card for the Blue Eyes, the uh, Chaos Mac Dragon. I mentioned this uh, before in um, some of the other videos and I just can't wait to play a deck based around that, especially going against the uh, Red Eyes uh, ritual based deck. Um, now Kiwi, Magician Girl, and we had the Crystal Avatar and the another Cubix. Uh, so another sentry, soldier of stone, more cubics. And this marshmallow looking counterpart, more lords, berry, deep eye white dragon. So let's see. So cubic, cherry. Dark Magic Veil. Let me read this. This is just short. Pay 1,000 life points. Special summon one dark spellcaster monster from your hand or graveyard. Oh, this is a great card right here. Just because of it's like a monster reborn. Uh, just like how the uh, dragons just got their own version of monster reborn from the Felgrand structure deck. This is a great way to actually uh, bring down your dark position faster. So, uh, Kiwi. You have your another cubic monster. Magical control. Uh, what's it? Contractor. Add, oh, so this I read this earlier. So add one spell card from your hand to your opponent's hand, then add one level seven or dark eight dark monster from your deck to your hand. So basically, you just give your opponents one card that you control uh, in your hand, and then you just get to search um, basically a dark mission or something like that. Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. This is a very uh, great card. Uh, I want to test out because. Um, and, and like an update, uh, ultimate blue eyes. It's it's basically just nostalgic for me, just because like ever since I saw blue eyes just pop out in the um, original anime series, and when Kaibo was uh, was about to lose, and and Yugi was like um, using was it the um, the curse or spell shatter arrow with the um, behemoth mammoth to take down his blue eyes. I thought that was just awesome. Uh, another Karibo card. Can. Can't hurt to have any more many more Karibo cards. Kaiser, another alternative. Hopefully I get one more to uh, complete the set. But also again, I really want to complete the gadget sets. Uh, let's see more guardians. More Max. Uh, Gandora Silver, so that's two so far. Uh, let's see. Cubic, Cubic Wave, Gold. So I have two, two for now with my gadgets, which I could be pretty fine with, uh, especially uh, when Jeff really needed to make his uh, ABC deck later on. Uh, let's see more. More Ultimate Blue Eyes Sneo. Oh, we got the fusion of the uh, cubic. I think this is the first time I actually pulled this out. Uh, now, more. It's my second copy of the uh, Cypher alternate art. Surprised I didn't get uh, any more of these alternate art of the blue eyes and dark. Oh, speaking of which, dark magician. Uh, let's see. A couple more packs to go. Oh, this is the uh, the trap version of the Swords of Neon Lights. Uh, let me read it and see what the comparison between the two. Once per attack, when an opponent's monster declare an attack, you can pay 1,000 life points to negate that attack. During your opponent's turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard. This turn, your opponent's monster cannot attack directly. And it's a continuous trap card. Uh, very inter interesting, but I'm not a big uh, fan of the paying 1,000 life points to stop an attack. And look at here, my third alternate, so I'm pretty set from here. Uh, let's see, let's keep on going. Uh, let's see what anything interesting. Not really much. Uh, so chaos form. Uh, let's see. So we've got the blue eyes. 
and that's pretty much it. Let's go to the overview. Alright guys, so here's the result from one box opening I just did. As you can see, I have my set of alternative blue eyes and the chaos matching like I wanted. But unfortunately, I didn't get the set of silver or gold gadget, but I can easily pick up the missing cards online. In the bottom row, you can see that I almost have a complete set of each of the new Magician Girl. And I can't believe I forgot this, but I also have the alternative art of the Dark Magician Girl, which I only have one copy of. So keep that in mind if you guys are really into the Dark Vision Girl and really want this uh, copy. It might be a little hard to get compared to some of the other cards. So that's pretty much it for the box open. Uh, hopefully it helped you guys to get an idea of what you expect when you're buying these packs or even the box itself. If you guys bought any of these packs or even the box itself, let me know. I'm curious what you guys pull. So that's pretty much it for the video. This is Park 15 Shockwave, signing out.